Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here, and in today's episode of Final Fantasy XII, we're going to be doing a bit of a mini-game in pairing people together. So if you enjoy watching, please don't forget to hit the like button, and we'll get on with today's episode. I can already tell you folks that this episode is going to be a little bit frustrating, a little bit annoying, a bit long-winded as the case may be. If I was doing a straight up let's play for Final Fantasy XII, then I'd probably uh, you know, edit most of this out so that you wouldn't have to watch it. But because we're going for a 100% walkthrough, I need to really show you everything we do so that those that are following along will have the option to do so as well if they want to go ahead with this side quest. Now I'll call it a side quest even though it's part of the main story because only a small amount of it is needed for the story itself. But if we do the whole lot then we'll actually unlock a secret part of this city and if we do that we can access a hunt later on. Thank you Ethan Bottoms for your subscription, much appreciated. So we are going to do the whole thing. Now we need to collect basically the uh, uh, pine wood... Uh, chops that were spoken about in the last episode from one of the NPCs, Jules. And we need to get 28 of them if we want to unlock absolutely everything. So the way we do that is by pairing 56 people together to 28 pairs. So in each of the four quadrants of the city that we've explored so far, there's going to be a whole number of different pairs. And they're each true to their own quadrants. So fortunately, we don't have to switch quadrants in order to match pairs. So I'm just going to get on with it, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're going to speak to the random NPCs, such as Arcadian uh, Gentries. This is the Proud Mother. And sometimes they'll give you yellow text, like this. And then what we'll do at times, if we're speaking to a person that's confessing a story will have the option to commit their tale to memory. So this story is known as the Tutor. Now in order to complete this pairing, we need to find the NPC in this district that's known as Tutor. So this is the one we just spoke to. Don't know why I spoke to them again. Uh, which means we need to basically speak to everyone until we come across the Tutor. And here we go, look, that was quick, wasn't it? So fortunately, when we speak to an NPC, we do get their name permanently, so we don't have to keep speaking to different NPCs in order to uh, find out who they are. So because we've completed that pairing, we get the Pinewood Chop and the first uh, Pinewood Chop of the district. And there's actually nine in this particular district. So we'll just head down now and speak to this Arcadian uh, Avid Traveller. So this is also a confessing NPC. And so what we need to do now is find the travelling gentleman to hand this story to. So, I know this isn't the A person because this is a poor wife. But we can just go ahead and speak to them to get their name anyway. And we'll do nothing since we don't want to give them the wrong pairing here. So we know all those are the tutors. Or well, one of them is anyway. Here we have the Travelling Gentleman at last. I should point out as well, by the way, that all of these NPCs are in completely random locations. So unfortunately, you can't go to the same location I go to and expect the NPC to be there. But uh, I am explaining these to you so that you can at least know the NPCs that you need to find for each particular story. So there we have it, and I'm just going to go ahead and speak to the NPC up here. Okay, so this is the Reminiscing Lady. And for this we need to find the uh, Family Minded Girl. So we'll head back down towards the Mama, who's around here, just in case the Family Minded Girl might be around. So here we have the Family Minded Girl. So we're going to relate this one. Okay, get to the story. And we get our next Pinewood Chop. 
and after getting three we are now free to ride the cab. So that, that's actually all we need to do in terms of the story, so if that's all you're interested in, then you can actually move on now and probably skip the rest. So we'll start now by talking to the poor husband. While we're here, commit this to memory, and now we need to go and find the poor wife, who I believe was nearby. I don't know whether it's going to be easy, you know, just to uh, tell you the pairings, and then you can go and find them, because, let's be honest, this is going to take a bit of a while otherwise, isn't it? To watch for probably no reason whatsoever. Maybe I'll just do a heck of a lot of editing and just show you the NPC so you know who to pair to. Whew. That will be a lot, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we're going to relate the tale of the anniversary. And we get our next Pinewood Chop, number four. To be honest, I gave up on wanting to edit all of those together. So I'll just show them to you for each, or explain them to you for each area, now that you know what you're doing. You, so the first name that I give you is the first one you'll want to speak to that gives you the yellow text. And then the second name is the guy you need, or the lady you need to speak to in order to complete that pairing. So the proud mother gives you the story, the tutor, and you'll need to give that to the tutor. That's number one. The avid traveller gives you the traveller story, and that's to give to the travelling gentleman. The daughter-in-law... Number three, gives you the story, a trinket from Giza, and that has to be told to the man from Giza. The reminiscing lady gives you the story, the mama, and that has to be given to the family-minded girl. The poor husband gives you the story, the anniversary, which you have to give to the poor wife. The ardent woman gives you the story, the eight and twenty chops, which you have to give to the ardent man. And the look-alike gives you the master of disguises, which you have to give to the look-alike. If you speak to that NPC the lookalike he doesn't give you the yellow text and you have to find the other lookalike first in order to get that and then go back to the first. The talented woman gives you a knack for magic uh, which you need to give to the accommodation and then finally the would-be judge gives you the story to be a judge which you need to give to the judge's wife. So that's the nine that are located in this particular quadrant, Mulberry. Once you've done them all you'll have, uh, if we go down to loot here, nine pinewood chops. So the next order of business is to head into the next area, and I'm going to be working on Trant. It doesn't matter which order you do these in, as long as you get them done, of course. Right, so I've just finished up in the area of Trant, or Trant, and there's another six uh, pine wood thingies to grab in this area. So that'll bring your total up to 15. You need to find the historian, who gives you the story of history of the empire, which you need to give to the perceptive man. Then you can find the sm Smitten Man, who gives you the story client's woman. You go and give that to Smitten Woman. There's Music Appreciator, who gives you the, the Lutinist, and you give that story to Lutinist. There's Builder, who gives you the story the Artist and Architect, and you give that to Artist and Arch Architect. Uh, there's Fast Goer, who gives you the story Ticket to the Fast. You give that to Girl on an Errand. And there's uh, Booty Curry. And she gives you the story of the boutique, which you give to the moneyed gentleman. And did I mention the historian? I can't remember if I did. If so, that's the history of the empire, and you give that to the perceptive man. Right, so let's move on, shall we? Oh, why do these quests even exist, eh? So now we're in Rienna. I've just finished Rienna, where there's another seven pairings to make, and they are as follows. The tour leader gives you the aerial gar gardens, which you give to the Bajerba lady. The lucky man gives you the epistle to love, which you give to the romantic lady. The lazy profiteer gives you the story of gambit for the market, which you give to the researcher's wife. The good brother gives you what she wants, which you hand over to the waiting woman. The tarot reader gives you the misfortune teller, which you can share with the happy novelist. The green seller gives you out of ear story, which you give to the vegetable seller. And finally, the philosopher of cuisine gives you a revolutionary dish, which you give to the dangerous chef. So should you get those seven and have you followed along with me, then you'll have 22, which means there's only six more to go, which we get from the original first uh, district that we started this quest off in, Neil Barsi. And here we're going to get the final six. So for this final area, you have to match up six. 
pairs of NPCs for six Pinewood Chops, and they are the Aspiring Scarlet, who needs to be matched up with Faded Star, the ex-researcher, and the second pa uh, part of the pair for them is the deter Determined Researcher. Uh, you have the Worried Husband, match him with the Materialistic Woman. The Senior Researcher, matches with the Failed Researcher. The Athletic Woman, matches with a Vid Reader. And the Gentleman Onlooker, matches with Eager Cryer. So I'm just going to find the final one here, which is the Avid Reader, I believe. <laughs> there we go. And we get our final Pinewood Chop, which means if you've done everything that I've just done and explained to you, then you should go ahead now and check your loot to note that you should have 28 Pinewood Chops. That's the maximum amount you can get. It's the amount that you need for the optional content to unlock. And to unlock it, we head into any shop and speak to not the normal MPs, uh, the normal merchants, but the, one of the Chop Masters. And we can trade Pine Chops for Sandalwood. And we get the sandalwood chop. And that designates us as a most prominent, promising, sorry, ardent. <laughs> and we may now ride cabs and get into central. Which is basically a rare, or optional if you like, area. It's not rare, I mean, it's rare amongst those that don't uh, get all 28 of these because they can't actually access it. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to head back to the cabbie. And at the moment, we just choose Take Me to Chernobyl, which is the story destination. And this is going to trigger off another event for us to enjoy. Okay, so from here on, first of all, there's a save crystal that we'll probably want to activate. So now we can teleport back here and move around the world if we wish to do so. But I'm just going to go ahead and save. Since it has been a while, I haven't saved during any of that uh, traversing across the different districts. But I did trust the fact that we had the auto save should the worst come to the worst and I mess up with that. And we're just going to head to the northern part of the town. Just going to speed through. I don't want to talk to anyone else now after that last section. The complices of the Senate have been quelled, Your Honour. Our forces sustain but light casualties. You have leave to withdraw. One detachment will remain here to guard Draglaw. My Lord. Do you think they're on to us? It would seem not. Though this will make our task more difficult still. Right, back in control. We're just going to head south again. And we should be able to trigger another event by doing so, I believe. Okay, so Jules is informing us now, that's very kind of him, that a squad of judges has actually been sent to Draclaw, making our entrance somewhat of a difficult proposition, as he calls it. 
That's probably an understatement. Right, so Jules has very kindly spoken some kind words to one of the cabbies. So hopefully we've, we'll actually have access to the Draclaw Laboratory now. Right, so we're just going to head to the northeast at this point. And I believe we'll say hello to the Imperial, maybe. He says, nope, not happening. Fair enough. Right, okay. So at this point, we actually just need to speak to the cabbie here. But instead of selecting the destination of Nilbasse, we select you know where to go. But I'm going to finish things off here for today, guys, because this has been a bit of a lengthy episode as far as my position is concerned because of running around doing all those pairings I need to go and get a drink and get myself um, having a break and whatnot so I hope it's been helpful to you let me know in the comments section if it has and please do come back again soon and we'll carry on with more Final Fantasy 12 but thanks for joining me today guys I've enjoyed it I hope you have too see you soon